Come on, Matt! Matt, win! Win, Matt, win! There you go, Matt! Lead it! Lead it for a mile! <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Zane Perez here for Rosemont News. I'm right outside Rosemont High School right now, as you can see right behind me. And if you're wondering why I'm covered in paint, it's because I just got done with the first year's color run here at Rosemont High School. And um, it's pretty cool. You know, it's around where you, it's three miles, 5K. And um, when you run throughout, you run throughout the town back around here by the high school. And uh, when you come through in different locations, they have paint where they throw it on you. It's kind of like a chalk powder paint. It's, it's for fun. I mean, it's pretty cool. And so, um, I mean, everybody's a lot of good community support coming out here right now. And um, so it's been a it's been a good race so far. People are still finishing up. The finish line's right here. Um, I just got done, and uh, you know I, I actually took first. Um, so you know, give out to that for Rosemont News. You know, we gave first place. That's a representing right there. Um, right now, with the way this is going, is it supposed to help to help the Cancer Cancer Society? Every amount paid goes to like a donation, so to speak, and it's twenty five dollars registered. So every time somebody registers, they get donated money going to the Cancer Society. So it's a cool thing because actually the previous video that was done yesterday um, at the Jayhawks game where the Kansas Society showed up at Jayhawks and they had a booth there to support the Kansas Society for this girl Tiffany Lambert who was a cancer survivor who just got released out from the doctor's orders recently. Had cancer diagnosed when she was three and now she's 10 years old and feeling good and strong. And so congrats to that Tiffany. And this is just a follow-up video for that. This is the run that they were sponsoring and that's why I'm here. So thank you. All right, I'm here now with Irvin Velasquez, another runner that ran the course today here for the color run. Irvin, tell us about yourself and how you know you're involved in running. Well, I'm involved in running. You know, uh, started doing cross country over here in Roseman Desert, and um, you know, just fell in love with running for the first time. It's almost four years now since I started running. It'll be uh, next week. It'll be my fourth year. You know, started running for this school right here, right behind me, and it's pretty good. We have folks over here supporting, you know, for breast cancer and all this awareness and stuff. So it's a good to see the community out here. Even though you know we're Roseman, a small little town, we all get together and you know we just have fun doing our things. You know, uh, just running itself is fun, I think. You know, and then bringing it together just makes it even more of an experience that you have to, you know, feel at, at a time. So yeah, that's about. Uh, about running right now. But you know, it's pretty hot. We had uh, good folks coming out, probably about 100, 200 runners, and I see. Um, and then, um, I mean, they have like the color run, the first annual one, so I mean, it's gonna be pretty pretty fun, you know, further on through the, the year. So, well, excited for that. All right, cool. So I heard you coaching at Desert. How's that? Yes, I do coach for Desert. This is gonna be my second year coaching Desert. And looking forward, I mean, we, we uh, have, we moved leagues, so we're not competing against Roseman, so that's a, kind of a bummer. But, you know, we're, we're at a hot desert mountain league now, so we're this competition, and we're going to have to try to work hard. I have uh, 
Jacob good, which, you know, he's my best runner right now. Well, let's just say I'm a fastest runner I've had last year, so I'm looking a lot for him to push his, you know, push it to this year. And uh, for the girls' side, I have Gabby Easy, which is, she's pretty good of a runner, you know, and pretty excited to see her run this year. We're going to try to do some amazing things this year, so looking good out there in the team and so. stuff. All right, sounds good. What about for you? Are you doing anything specific with your own time to help inspire other runners? Uh, actually, I do. Um, I opened up a club over here in Roseman. I mean, it's welcome for anyone, anyone from beginners to, you know, if you're an elite or anything like that, you can come out and just run with us. Um, it's called a mile split project and uh, it's something small you know you got to start something you have to start somewhere and then you know eventually people start catching on and start trying to join it I mean it's something something you have to come out and you know just hang out with us talk to us have breakfast with us you know short jog run whatever you need to do you know if you're trying to stay fit you're trying to stay in good health uh, or you're trying to compete you know you can always come out and uh, come out and run with us. We have a couple of runners coming out, new runners from Desert, from Edwards Air Force Base coming out, and we're going to be doing a run on September 28th, I believe, at Bell Jeff Griffith Park, and we're going to try to compete as, as our club right there and try to take first place, as last year we only came up being third place and we didn't win anything, so this year hopefully we get a a tight, fast pack, and you know, making punch in that race. All right, sounds good. Well, I look forward to seeing you over there at Bell Jeff then, and uh, good luck for you in your coaching and in your club. Thanks, sir. I'm here after the cut with the first girl to, to come in through this race, Ashley Rush. Ashley, can you tell me about the race, how it felt for you? Uh, it didn't feel as long as it should have. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's easier when you're going through like a whole course and not like on a track running circles. And I got a little bit colored at the end. <laughs> I didn't really get that colorful, but you know. Oh, I got you. So, do you have any like history with running? Do you run in uh, high school? No, or? I play tennis. Okay, how's tennis going for you? Uh, good. I'm number one on varsity in Tashby. Okay, how long have you been playing tennis? Uh, two years. Oh, okay, so you don't run at all? You don't do any running sports? No. All right, well, that's good that you came in, you know, to be one of the first girls here. You know, so um, being out, you know, I know you're from Tehachapi. Be out here. How do you feel running out here in Rosemont specifically? In this uh, it was hot, hotter than up there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. Okay. And you said how long have you been in for tennis? Uh, two years. Okay. And how, like, tell us something about tennis, like how, how it can be competitive or how that goes. Um, I play for the high school, but over the summer when I'm not playing at the high school, I do tournaments on my own without the team. Okay, how those tournaments go? Like, tell us about tennis. For some, for some of us who don't know about tennis, you know, how does, how does, how does that make you feel? How do you train? How do you get ready for that? Um, you just coach. I have a personal trainer that I go practice with and he works on like the serve and the hits and stuff and then I just go and turn to competitions and I play other girls. Alright, sounds good. Well, thank you Ashley for giving us your time oh. and congratulations on coming in as one of the first girls. Alright. In adult and youth. So I'm going to announce the winners in just a couple minutes. Awesome. Congratulations. Did you take... Oh yeah, get a picture. Jonah Purcell. Jonah. Yeah. With a time of 25 minutes and 16 seconds. Good picture. Place winner for youth division is Matthew Bannon, number 247. Rebecca Purcell. For the adult division is, oh sorry, Matt Dumzala, 197, second place, with the time of 22 minutes and 54 seconds, great job. And our first place winner for the adult division, oh go ahead. Sorry. Is number 199, Zamian Perez. Woo! With the time of 22 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. And then, can I get all my queen, queen, queens? 
Can I get all my queens with the first place winner, please?